Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy JDRFT. Welcome back to another pretty crazy video. Today we're doing better than ever. And today's video is going to be talking about my 2021 and 2022 experience. So I know it's the beginning of 2023 and I know you guys are probably thinking, why didn't I just do it in 2021 and 2022 when it was supposed to happen? But I'm low key kind of lazy. No, no, that, never mind. That's high key. I'm high key lazy and because I just didn't have the motivation to do it. So that's why I am deciding to do it in this one video and show you guys my experiences. I'm going to make multiple categories within the two years that happened. So if you guys want to skip to a specific part, feel free to do so. I'm really happy to show you guys this. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So 2021, as you guys expect, COVID's still a thing. So it's like, you know, I'm just staying in my house, chilling and playing games. The big game at the time was just me playing Cold War, I guess, you know, just playing zombies. Um, it wasn't as popular as it was, but you know what? I just did it the past time. And the biggest thing for me was Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan part one of season four just came out, which is really exciting. It started at the beginning of December, but it started to continue into 2021 and it concluded around March. As you can see, 2021 at the very start wasn't that, you know, crazy. You know, we didn't do that much. You know, I would just talk to friends on Discord, talk to my girlfriend, eat food, play games, and watch shows and shit. And you know, like that was the only thing I could really do to be honest. COVID got us stuck in our houses. Honestly, it gave me a really good opportunity to reflect on my life at that current moment and how I can make decisions to better my future. And speaking about my future, I actually graduated of the year of 2021. I was in grade 12 and it was the second half. You know what? It wasn't that bad. I did my work. You know, I showed up to class kind of. I BSed my way through it. And honestly, it was okay. I didn't really like high school, to be honest, in terms of the workload at the time. Okay, at the time keyword. But you know what? It is what it is. I got it done. And I ended up graduating. The final thing I just wanted to say is I finally got a proper desk for my setup. So... As you guys can see, a long time ago, I had this like, I don't know, this wooden freaking piece of junk. And now I have a proper desk made out of metal with a mouse pad as, you know, the top part, which is really cool. It's decent size and I can basically put whatever I want in it. So that was really nice. It really improved my setup. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get right into the next category. So guys, this is the part of 2021 when things start to lighten up. Like I said earlier, I graduated in the month of June. Although it wasn't the best graduation due to COVID, I was happy with it, honestly. I just wanted to get out. And not to mention, I got my first ever job, thanks to my friend named Omar. Like, honestly, this guy's like a G, bro. Like, I'm not even joking. I was lazy as hell, and he got my ass up, and he got me a job at my local department store. And that was great because I finally started making real money by myself, meaning I could buy things for myself and not have to rely on my parents. And with that money, I set a goal to save up a little bit so then I could buy a new PC because the one that I had was from 2016. It was really outdated and I really wanted a new one. So I worked really hard. I took as many shifts and I basically just worked really hard towards it. And I'll show you guys the progression of the PC parts that I got over time. And I will explain a little bit later of my PC build at the very end of 2021. But yeah, COVID started to get a little bit better during the summer and it was basically didn't even exist. So that meant that I had more time to hang out with the friends that I missed out time on during quarantine. And you know what? I watched the Demon Slayer movie, bro. That shit was fucking fire, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Rangoku, the Mugen trade, freaking spoiler alert. Akaza, like motherfucker, bro. What the hell? That shit was fire. I don't know. I just really loved it. And that was a great moment for the summer. Honestly, my highlight. Right after that, it was my birthday. Really cool. Watched Black Widow. You know, it is what it is. But you know what? That was cool. And then right after that, we went and had a cottage with my entire friend group that was pretty cool because it was my first ever time going on a trip without you know my parents and it was just with my friends so that was honestly just a really cool experience to try out so yeah that was honestly most of the highlights that we had during the summer you know i just graduated and i'm going into university so i guess the only thing you could really do is just mess around with friends you know try as much as you can do try to just fuck around and just you know be young because i'm i was literally 18 at the time so you know that was a really cool experience it was honestly a fun summer, but yeah, we're going to move on to the next category and explain the next part of 2021.
So now that it's the fall, you guys obviously know this is when I started university for my first year. And let me tell you, it freaking sucked. The transition from high school to university did not prepare me at all. I'm just going to tell you guys that like it literally jumped. And for the first three weeks, I couldn't get any work done at all. Looking at the classes that I had online and in person were just so confusing. and I didn't even know how to maneuver around the website. Not to mention that I still had to wear masks every time I went into class and I would get confused on where to go to be honest because of how big the campus was. Obviously, you get used to everything, you know, you go to your classes regularly, you know, do the schoolwork. So overall, it wasn't that bad as I thought compared to how I'm doing now, but I will say it was a big jump and it was horrible. Moving away from school, at the time, I actually managed to get another job because my other job before this was seasonal. So basically it was being a pizza operator and I just basically took calls and I'm not gonna lie, it actually got me some good money to buy things to improve my setup. I bought a monitor arm, I bought a new keyboard and I managed to get more parts to build my PC. This is great because I was also getting money into my savings while improving my setup and you could actually see it gradually improve over time from before and after and it's actually really cool to see. But yeah, honestly, just throughout like October and November, not really much has happened. It was just basically school and me just working. But let me tell you though, even though that was really boring, December kind of came around in clutch. And you know what? That was a really good month. That's when chapter three of Fortnite started. The FNAF security breach game actually came out. And those were the two main things I actually played at the time. Now beforehand, I didn't play as much games because of university. But when the Fortnite update came out and Security Breach came out, I was actually really excited to play it because it was going to be a new experience. And as I expected, it was a fun time, you know, like just playing Security Breach. I went through the entire game and I loved the story, although it wasn't as patched up together and there was a lot of glitches. I still really enjoyed the lore of it. And for Fortnite, I just really liked the Spider-Man stuff, you know, that was really cool. And speaking of Spider-Man, the movie of No Way Home was brilliant. That was probably the next best movie next to Mugen Train to me, personally. And before we talk about 2022, I just wanted to say the biggest highlight, which was getting my PC completely built. I spent all my time before summer and after summer trying to get as much money as I can to build this beast of a PC and it finally came out looking gorgeous. It took me about six hours of not knowing anything to build a PC and it wasn't that bad, it was pretty fun. The only problem was, was actually getting the GPU itself. Now, the price wasn't the issue. It was just the fact that GPU shortages were going on because of COVID. So I had to wait about 11 hours outside of a Best Buy and then I actually finally got it and it was like $700 roughly, totally worth it for a 3070. But you know what? I got the PC and I was very happy about it. We even managed to get my friend a 3070 Ti because he couldn't make it that night. But it was also worth it because we surprised him and he had a great reaction to it. So that is basically my whole 2021 year. So it was okay, it wasn't that bad. It was more of like a patient learning experience to me, but you know what, 22 kinda goes hard, I'm not gonna lie. So guys, without any further ado, let's get right into 2022. Okay guys, now that we're in 2022, we have so much to talk about. 2022 started off very strong as we already got three golden anime airing at the same time. We got Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 2, Demon Slayer Season 2, and the new anime called Ranking of the Kings. Every week, I actually had something to look forward to because not a single episode disappointed me. The animation, the voice acting, and the story just kept getting better and it was like a dream come true. Around this time, I also started hitting the gym after so many years, in which I will be honest, I was progressing slowly, but I ended up stopping three and a half months in, and you know, I'll explain what happened after that. But as usual, I just continued with my daily schedule, I would just do schoolwork, play games, until I decided to quit my second job. I thought it would be better if I would just take a break and really just get rest right before I finish my first year of uni, but I quickly realized that was the worst mistake as I needed money for my wants and needs. It also didn't help that I wanted to collect Funko Pops again, and for some reason it started off as a small interest, but out of nowhere this year, it actually started to start booming again and I wanted to collect even more. I got three basic Funko Pops back in 2017, which were my Deku Hot Topic, 
my Tenya and my Bakugo Fungal Pops, which were from My Hero Academia. Then later on, I got Tundra from Demon Slayer, Zenitsu, and then I got a Winry Funko Pop from Full Metal. And next thing you know, it started growing from there, but I will show that later in my entire collection. But without any further ado, let's get right into the best part of 2022, the spring and the summertime. All right, guys, now we're at the main part of 2022 and what was my favorite part personally to me. So around April is when my exams for uni came, which meant that I was so close to the summer. I got everything done and you know what? It wasn't that bad. I just had to put a couple of my assignments in. I think I had to do like one exam and I was basically finished. And yeah, that was basically my first year of uni. I will say it was not the best at the beginning, but towards the end, it was okay. I just had a hard time doing my work because I had no idea what the fuck was going on. Like, I feel like I would have understood if I paid attention a little more, but I'm not going to lie. It is boring as frick, bro. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, that was that. And around this time, I was also collecting even more Funko Pops, like I said before. I collected two more Attack on Titan, two more Fortnite. I'll just show an image on screen to show you guys my collection at that time. And you'll see how it progressively grows. So after my exams finished, I didn't have a job because it was April and I quit back in February. So that means from April to May, I just had to use what I had left in my savings, which was not good because I spent a lot of money between the time. But the good part is, is that May comes and you know what? I'm like, I should find a job, which I basically did. I found a third job at my local mall and I'm not gonna lie, I have been working ever since and I have no complaints about it. The work is good, the people are good, and I just like the overall environment. Also, since COVID was getting a little bit better because it was May, I managed to go to two concerts, which was Twee, an Asian artist, and Keshi, another big Asian artist. It was pretty cool, but the only thing is, after the Keshi concert, I actually got COVID, and that was the first time I ever got COVID. I will say, it was not a fun experience. I had a fever, a headache, and my throat literally felt like there was knives going down it. If you take it in, I also just started work, so it wasn't the best impression to call off, but they were okay with it. I also got COVID in June, just to confirm, because it was at the very beginning. But after that, it was just a chill month. And then midway through, we went and had another cottage with my friends, which was actually really fun the second time around. I thought it wouldn't hit the same. Um, maybe in the moment it didn't hit the same, but now thinking about it, it was really fun. Then July comes around and, you know, we're just chilling, having fun. My friend's birthday came up and, you know, we celebrated it. Then right after that, we had Anime North, which is located at the Toronto Congress Center. And it was actually really fun. It lasted for about three days from July 15th to the 17th. And it was my first ever event that I went to, especially it being anime. That was probably the most coolest one to start off with. Then right after my cousin came from Vietnam to Canada, so then he could study abroad and he's been living with me ever since and it's been pretty cool. Then right after it was my birthday and it was pretty fun. I got to hang out with my friends. It was the summer, you know, we went to go eat, watch the movie. And you know what, we just chilled. I'm gonna quickly show everything that I got from Anime North and my birthday because they're so close together. Thank you for the people who got me gifts. I appreciate it. And as you can see, I got a bunch of pretty good stuff. So yeah, that's pretty dope. Then for the remainder time, I basically just worked and you know, I just hang out with my friends, you know what it is. But then after that, August 7th came, which was the Kid Leroy concert. And I saw Kid Leroy twice, okay, twice. By the way, I just wanna let you know, this was my favorite concert by far. I really like his music, I really like his vibe, and he's like the same age as me, so you know, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I went to him twice, it was freaking fire. I'm not gonna lie, the first night, I thought I was gonna die from the crowd, but it was pretty fun, you know, I got used to it, and you know, we just vibed. Uh, next one was Kendrick Lamar, that was pretty dope, it was the best performance out of every concert I've been to by far, for sure. So I definitely have to put that on my top three. Then after that, I saw Seventeen, which is a K-pop group. They're pretty cool. I listened to their music before, like not crazy, but my girlfriend really likes them, so that's why we went. And at the very end of the entire summer, my favorite part was going to Fan Expo Toronto. And we did so much going to Fan Expo for the four days we had. I managed to get a photo op with Finn Wolfhard and Sean Astin, and my friends actually got a photo op with Giancarlo Esposito, which is one of the antagonists from Breaking Bad. I also got to see the Demon Slayer dub cast, the boys cast, because they actually film in Toronto, and I actually went to go meet the character of Kamiko, which her name is Karen, and I actually got to meet the voice actor for Zenitsu for the dub, which is Alex Lee. 
But yeah, I'm gonna quickly show what I got from Fan Expo because I got a crap load of stuff. But yeah, overall, it was actually a really fun event. We met a lot of people and we had a lot of fun going around the entire expo. But yeah, that's gonna be the highlight of 2022 summer. And I'm gonna move on to the last topic of this video. So guys, this is the end of the summer, which means my second year of university starts and I am not having fun at all. For some reason, I always have like a bad start when it comes to school just because I don't know what's going on and it's like going so fast, you know? But you know what? I hang in there and I just complete my work like how I'm supposed to. But other than school, let's just talk about what happened in September, which was the two concerts I actually went to, which were Lil Nas and The Weeknd. For the Lil Nas X, I've been wanting to see him for about a year now, and I finally got to see him, so that was a really cool experience. I really liked his music, I liked his backup dancers, I liked everyone in the concert. It was just an overall great vibe, and you know what, I would definitely go see him again. For the weekend, it was kind of crazy, you know, his voice was like really, really good. The only problem is, is I couldn't see him because there were so many people crowding him, and you know, I was like on the ground floor, but you know what, listening to his voice was all I needed, and it was actually really nice. For October, I went to two more concerts. It was pretty cool. It was actually Giveon and Joji. They were really cool. Although I don't listen to them that much, to be honest, they were still pretty cool to go to. And in terms of shows and animes, bro, three golden animes came out in October, okay? We got Chainsaw Man, which is actually really good. I like it a lot. I don't know why people complain about it so much, but you know, personally, I like it and I like the characters. Uh, the second one is My Hero. I've been waiting for the anime to come out, bro. Season 6 is actually peak. Like, holy sh holy crap, bro. It, I don't know. People have to watch My Hero. After Season 5, it gets so much more better. Then third is Part 2 of Spy Family, which is actually really cool. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm gonna catch up to it. Lastly, uh, this is kind of funny. Uh, we actually went trick-or-treating at the last day of the month, because October 31st, you know, Halloween. Um, it's because my cousin and my friend's little brother wanted to go trick-or-treating, so we actually went, and it was actually fun, like, it was kind of like a small hangout, and, you know, we were vibing and crap, so that was really cool, and, uh, yeah, that, that was, uh, my October. November was pretty chill, you know, I was just working, uh, played some Modern Warfare 2 when that came out, it died really fast, I'm not gonna lie, but it was fun within the two weeks that we played it, watched Wakanda forever, so that was pretty cool. And the World Cup started, so we started betting a crap ton of money in November. But yeah, those are like the three main things that started happening. And uh, yeah, it went pretty fast. So moving on to the final month, December. It was pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. So once again, you know, we got the World Cup going on. Still betting, still making money. And uh, yeah, you know, New Year's coming up and a lot of things are going on. I watched two really good movies. I watched the Puss in Boots movie, which I actually really enjoyed. And, you know, I'm a sucker for it. I'm not going to lie, bro. It's going to be very memorable. Then I watched the Avatar The Way of Water. Funny enough, I watched the first Avatar on the exact same day of the second one. I know, I know. I should have watched it a long time ago. But it was pretty cool watching four hours of total of the Avatar. So, you know, I, I, I enjoyed that a lot. Everything was great. Scenery, music, characters, story. W. I also ended up getting my G's license, which is the license that allows you to drive on the highway here in Canada. Don't know if it's different in other places, but that's how it works where we are. So that was a great thing. And then for the rest of December, I was basically chilling, you know, just getting ready for Christmas and New Year's to buy presents and all that stuff. And you know what? I had a lot of fun. Spent my time with my family on Christmas. And then on New Year's, I ended up going to my girlfriend's house, spending time with their family. So everything kind of just like went very well during the winter you know i really enjoyed it it was really fun and you know what it was a great way to end the 2022 year but yeah guys this is going to conclude 2021 and 2022's year and this video so i really appreciate you guys for staying this long i know it was a crazy video it was like 19 minutes or whatnot but you guys stayed i really appreciate it if you guys have any questions or comments regarding my life you guys could ask in the comments below but without any further ado thank you very much i hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace